terribly sorry. It was such a nice day, I decided to walk. Take a look at the old school. Well, where is the pedestrian crossing? There? Well, that's a stupid place for it. I don't suppose it's really that. There are some signs for drivers. Yes, well, you go right past that one, and then there's a white stripe to cross the road. But I was probably insuring them. Oh, Maggie, isn't it? Mrs. Margaret Brennan. Oh, that's right. Oh. You married Gaz or the wizard? Oh, you, you got Louis car with him after he flaked on the back seat. School dance. Oh, Billy the knob chummed it all over the dance floor. I don't know who you think you are. My husband is Garfield Brennan. You may have heard of Breville Auto Engineering. We have a chain of service centres throughout the state. Yes, of the wizard. Breville Kitchen Wiz. Didn't the apprenticeship with his dad as a broke mechanic? Yeah, I heard he did well for himself. Well, good on him. Yeah, you too, Maggie. Nice car. Stop calling me that. Who are you? Oh, Richard. Richard Thomas. I was at school with you and Gaza. Oh, sorry, Garfield. Well, I certainly don't recognise you. No, no, you never really noticed me. Yeah, I played football with your husband for four seasons. Uh, I was in some of your classes too. Well, that doesn't give you the right to be familiar. Yeah, I remember the day you were sent to the headmaster's office for passing notes to Alice Pritchard. Mrs Davis moved the desk, searched everywhere for that night. I dropped it. We were sure she'd find it, but she never said anything. I stepped on it while she had you emptying your pockets. You... You're the boy by the window. You were in my mess class. And English. For four years. I'm surprised you remember me at all. Oh. We only spoke once. I, I don't remember. You left your gloves on a bench in the quadrangle. I ran after you with them. Oh. Really? So long ago. Yep. And here you are trying to run me down in your gag right outside the school gate. Well, I'm in a hurry. I have a very important function to attend at the trains for. Oh, well, that's where I'm going. Well, don't expect me to offer you a lift. I have a great deal on my mind. A speech to give to the Literary Society. Oh, wouldn't dream of it. I'm enjoying the walk. Well, it won't start till I get there anyway. Why? What are you talking about? The um, Literary Society, the luncheon thing. And you go. I'll be a while, yeah? I can assure you it most certainly will start. The Mayor and Senator Frobisher are very tight schedules, and so am I. And as President of the Society, I can think I can safely assure you that the luncheon will start on time. Goodbye, Mr. Thomas. No, no, call me Richard. Oh, Sebastian, if you like. Sebastian? Uh, Sebastian Fletcher. My, uh, my nom de plume. You're Sebastian Fletcher? You can't be Sebastian Fletcher. I don't believe you. Well, if you're going to the luncheon, I'll prove it. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking about my book. Oh, and I know that. I organised it with your publisher. His publisher? You can't be Sebastian Fletcher. Why not? Well, well, you're the boy by the window. So? So, so you can't be Sebastian Fletcher. Okay, suit yourself. You were in my maths class. And English. You're Sebastian Fletcher. Yes. But you said it excuse me. You said you didn't remember. You said excuse me when you gave me that white glass. No one at... School ever spoke to me like that. I wait for you to talk to me again, but you never did. I imagine what you might say and how it might sound. And now you're Sebastian Fletcher? Still Richard Thomas. You made up all those people. Jennifer and Henry and the Bathgates. Oh, you, you've read it. Oh, I've read all of them. I read all the times three times. Twice when it came out and once more for the book club. 
Well, how about that? I didn't put the names together. Got your letter here. You're Sebastian Fletcher. <laughs> You're Maggie Chapman. You're Richard Thomas. You're Mrs. Breville from the Northwood Literary Society. <laughs> In my diary, I called you the dreamer. <laughs> you wrote about me. Well, I wrote about everybody. We all did, didn't we? Well, girls, maybe. I, I didn't write anything until my 30s. I walked out of Northwood High and believed I'd never see it again. Did all kinds of jobs, travelled every chance I've got. Then I got a job as a lighthouse keeper. Well, after a few months there, I, I started writing, but just to say the same. There was a lighthouse in your book, White Waters, and a man with an accordion. Yes, sir. I was going to give him a dog, but those would have been too much, and uh, oh, I was dying to write about an accordion. There was this guy I worked with on an orange farm. He played one. I thought you were English. In school? No, no, from your books. You were so quiet at school. Shy. Yeah, well, I lost that somewhere along the way. Yeah, funny thing, my, my parents wanted me to go to a private school, but I thought to come here because posh kids bored me. Kids here were more interesting. You, you especially. Me? Oh. Why, what do you mean? You had the world at your feet you didn't know. Wherever you were, there was a cluster <coughs> of people. Everybody wanted to be near you. Oh. oh, no, they didn't. The lacrosse set was too good for me. Really? Oh, you mean the, the Jamison sisters, that crowd? I had no idea. Oh, I still remember them. That's what I remember most from this place. My dad worked for their farm. Oh, they were awful. You were the prettiest girl at school? No, I wasn't. What about Celia Barnes? No, you, you, you had an aura, Maggie. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Gerbal. <laughs> no, um, call me Maggie. You had that uh, walk too, Maggie. You always belonged in one of those. Edna Jackson was mad about Garfield. Oh, oh is she, she still around? <laughs> Divorced twice. Do you remember that tan she used to get every summer? She looks like an old wallet. <laughs> <coughs> you know who uh, Gemma Addison in Fools Rush In? No! Edna! Gemma Addison is Edna Jabbers! Mostly. There's a little bit of a woman who used to sell bad coffee out of a caravan, but uh, <laughs> mostly she's Edna. And uh, what about me? You know Sally in the Queen Street? The barmaid. Oh, she's got your walk. I've been careful with you. You used to spare me. There's more of your character in Jennifer than anyone else. She's black. Oh, well, she's got your aura. When she entered, a window seemed to have opened just out of sight. And a whisper of air, a hint of sunlight seemed to grace the room. I had that in my head for a long time before Jennifer appeared. Once I started writing, I, I knew I'd find a character that deserved it. Changed, or have you always been different from, from the impression I had? No, no, I, I've changed. Well, you've changed too. You were never uptight in school. I am not uptight. <laughs> oh, that. Well, you startled me. <coughs> no, you're right. Oh, I'm, I'm happy, really. It's just. Well, I have responsibilities. What, what would you have said back then? I mean, if I'd walked up to you somewhere in the school and said, still got your bugs? Or, uh, 
Remember me? I, I thought about her. Oh, so did I. But it probably said something about knights and chivalry. But you never did. Oh, you were never alone. And the competition for your attention was uh, intimidating, I guess. No, I gazed out the window and made plans to become worldly. So did I. And I think I am. Yes, I am. I'm a grandmother, I have a wonderful husband, a beautiful family, everything to me. But? Oh, but the Maggie who was here was your Jennifer and Sally. I'm not that anymore. Yes, well, Richard who was here was a gentleman. Sebastian Fletcher can be uh, a bit of a jerk. I read that you had a young wife and family. Yes. Oh, I love for you to meet them. Maggie, could, could we be friends? I, I mean, we drive this way every summer to the beaches. <laughs> I'm still gathering them, isn't it? Huh. When he's not away sailing, I'll ask him. I think we are friends, Richard. I think we're old friends. Are you uh, legally part of that? Yes. Then I would be honoured if I could walk my old friend to the literary luncheon. Yes. It is a beautiful day. Let's take our time. They won't start without us. <laughs>